We live in a region and in a world where health does not identify anymore with borders. So if we look at the major health problems affecting our region or affecting the world, they do not identify with borders. The Global Health Institute is a component of a bigger uh, vision for health that AUB has. President Fadlu Khouri, in his inauguration a few years ago, announced the formation of the Health 2025 vision, which focuses on integration of all the health units at AUB under one umbrella to provide the best medical care and population health to our people in Lebanon and the region. Now, the Global Health Institute was the first step towards achieving this vision, and it focuses on issues related to health globally in our region, in Lebanon. The Global Health Institute started in July of 2017, so it's 15 months old now, almost 16 months old. It's done a great deal, it's obtained grants, it's organized its work in three major ways, programs, academy, and assist, which are consonant with what we have at AUB, which is uh, teaching, service, uh, and scholarship. Uh, it's gotten some fairly impressive conferences put together, and it's off to an excellent start in bringing people together, most importantly. So we are happy that GHI is uh, helping complement that vision and enhancing the footprint and health of AUB both in Lebanon and in the region and indeed globally. Currently, the Global Health Institute at AUB now has three divisions. The first division, which is GHI programs, focused on research, policy and advocacy. A second division is the GHI Academy, which is our capacity building arm. And then the third division is GHI Assist, which is our service arm. Uh, the Programs Division at the Global Health Institute tackles eminent global health challenges through research and advocacy. We currently have four running programs that draw on the expertise of faculty members and functional teams to address global health challenges that are particularly relevant to the Middle East and North Africa region, but have implications to other parts of the world as well. Uh, these programs are the eSaha program for a start, uh, focuses on eHealth as a way to transcend certain geographical barriers, for example, uh, in the access and delivery of healthcare. As for Comfort Medicine program, it uses research to devise new evidence-based tools in the management of conflict-related uh, injuries in more in war zones. Uh, as for nutrition and obesity-related diseases program, it draws on uh, the work of faculty members to design new interventions and strategies that can succeed in curbing the obesity epidemic and its related diseases. Finally, the Refugee Health Program focuses on research in fragile settings. The Arm for Specialized Services, Initiatives and Support, ASSIST, is the service division at the Global Health Institute. Through ASSIST, GHI designs, implements, and evaluates community-based services and interventions that aim to address the needs of vulnerable populations, including children and youth, women, elderly, socioeconomically disadvantaged, and refugees. ASSIST also focuses, through its volunteering programs, on engaging volunteers from different backgrounds to join efforts into the implementation of impactful community outreach activities related to global health topics. The GHI Academy is the capacity building division of the Global Health Institute. The Academy advances global health literacy and leadership through innovative delivery of contextualized capacity building initiatives. The Academy currently has three main initiatives, the Global Health Learning and Development Platform, the Center for Research and Education in the Ecology of War, and the Mobile University for Health. In addition to that, we also have our humanitarian learning portfolio. Reflecting back on our first year at the Global Health Institute, I believe our key success factor for the rapid growth and significant achievement has been the fact that we have fostered a culture of cross-functional teamwork. Our vision moving forward is having GHI within AUB be an innovative hub for global health, not only for our region, but also to the global south. And uh, our specific niche that we are uh, working towards and we're proud of 
is trying as much as possible to contextualize global health, but also to have the voice of the region heard within the global health dialogue that is happening in so many places uh, around the world. It's an outstanding young institute. We hope that it will grow and be sustainable. I would imagine within five or 10 years, I would anticipate it'll be one of the 10 to 20 best in the whole world.